Yo guys, I'm Jordan Clark and this is my six year battle with the Triple Flare. I've been trying the Triple Flare for about six years now. Um, my first attempt was back in 2016. Uh, I tried it at Adrenaline Alley, which was, uh, yeah, you know, the, the best place for it, I thought, at the time. Um, managed to get three round in the foam pit. And yeah, just, you know, tried it to the resi and kept, to be honest, I tried it about 35 times. Um, the first time I ever tried it, so it was a, a crazy amount of times and I couldn't even walk the next day. And um, that's when I knew that the triple would probably be possible in years to come. Um, I think I had, had a lot of courage trying it for the first time, just purely off of how um, good my double flares were. It also come from like my friends telling me that I could do it as well, you know. Um, they're definitely a big part of this journey that I've been trying this trick for so long and they've been telling me, you know, you can do it, you can do it. And um, they definitely gave me the courage and obviously in my own head, I gave myself the courage to, to keep trying and, you know, try this trick for the first time. Uh, 2017 at All In was obviously another one that I thought I was going to land. Uh, Derek um, kindly built me an extension, like a, a foot, foot and a half extension onto his resi. I was doing them perfect into the foam pit. We, we drilled the extension into the foam pit. I'd, I'd done about 10, 15 attempts into the foam pit. Everyone was wheels. And then I tried it to the resi ramp, got very close, like, slid literally onto my butt, tried it about three or four times, couldn't get it round enough and it was a, a shame really because I felt like that was the setup. Yeah, wasn't, uh, wasn't that year. I went to Woodward in 2017, um, I flew out from Nitro World Games and um, just so happened that uh, Clayton Lindley and Will, Will Cashin were there and um, yeah they were like dude you need to get this triple done. I tried a couple to foam, got them perfect and there wasn't a resi ramp for it so I just had the idea that I was going to try it to wood and yeah I only got one attempt at Woodward purely because I tried it, I landed wheels, my deck snapped in half and yeah I took my shoe off and my foot blew up like a balloon, uh, turns out I broke my foot on that one and you know it still gave me the confidence that I, I landed it to wheels, it, it was also scary because my scooter broke but what could, it could have happened then, you know, if my scooter didn't break, it could have landed it. But you know, it's just just the way it, the way it happens. 2018, we we're at Extreme Barcelona for the ISA World Championships. I it come into best trick. There wasn't really something that I wanted to try, other than a triple. And um, there was a perfect quarter pipe there for it. I'm going to be honest. I, I was really scared, you know, going to wood again. Just under rotated it. Uh, ended up breaking my forks. It's, it was a shame because everyone was like, come on Jordan, try it again, try it again. And you know, I was kind of like, no, my forks are broken. If I pull off and my forks snap, I'm probably not going to make it out. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's 2018 for you at Extreme Barcelona. So 2018, uh, Scoot Fest um, slash Nitro World Games, they had um, at Adrenaline Alley. Same sort of thing really as Extreme Barcelona. It was a best trick comp. Spun it, pulled off perfect but I feel like the ramp was just too, that little bit too mellow. Ended up whacking my head off the coping. Yeah, that pretty much concludes that attempt. And then I went back to All In again uh, for another summer camp. Derek was kind enough to build me an extension. And um, yeah, same thing really, drilled it into the ramp, tried my attempts again, uh, ended up sliding out onto my bum. Same thing as 2017 really. Um, I felt like it was the time. I also had Ryan Williams in my corner as well. He was, you know, telling me I could do it and giving me some good motivation. Obviously, he's one of the greats in the sport and he's done some amazing tricks. And yeah, you know, it was a shame. I broke my scooter again, trying it. And uh, it was that uh, long journey home on the plane of just what could have been. 2019, uh, World Roller Games in Barcelona, different venue. I thought the quarter pipe was the perfect one. Turns out it was way too steep. Um, I didn't even ride it before. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. Um, so I ended up trying it. Um, I instantly knew I popped out way too much. Ended up hurting myself quite a lot, actually. Um, I had to have mor morphine, muscle relaxant and stuff like that um, after the, the comp, which was a massive shame. Um, injuries, really, only really breaking my foot at uh, Woodward. 
obviously Barcelona where I landed on my bum and you know had to have morphine and things like that um, but yeah not too many injuries which is which is crazy to think really because it's a such a massive trick that um, you'd think that there'd be more injuries but you know I uh, got lucky I guess and yeah I, I then obviously 2020 Covid uh, I, I think I got to try it once late later that year I can't really remember the attempt I'm pretty sure it was at Asylum to stay motivated and keep trying the trick you know is obviously it just goes to show that hard work dedication you know it really does pay off when you get knocked down get up try again and uh, the next attempt could be uh, could be the one the year was 2022 uh, last week, I'd just come back from Fees, um, was on a high, had a conversation with Kieran Riley and all the boys, uh, that British cycling on the way back um, from Fees. Our flight got delayed, thank God, because um, I wouldn't have had these conversations. And yeah, me and Archie made our way up to um, Asylum and it wasn't really on, my, on the card, it wasn't on my agenda or anything like that. But I, ended, I felt really good. I'd done perfect ones to the foam pit and uh, ended up getting it in yours. three goes and it couldn't have been any smoother. You know, just the relief of just landing it and, you know, pulling the trick. And you, you kind of like on cloud nine, you're just floating on, on clouds, crazy and, um, what a day it was. I can't think of too many other tricks that have been going on for six years. I think Ryan Williams might come close, but I think the triple flare where it was such a big deal the whole time from before you started trying it when you were doing double flare combos. Just the six year battle with it and how many times you tried it, how many times you'd failed, you tried it at the best trick competitions, at, um, at all the world championships. That This is definitely, it's probably one of the most anticipated world's first in all of action sports for sure, let alone scootering. I think out of all of them, the triple player's up there, number one. Couldn't have landed it without me. <laughs> it was awesome to see like you, the likes of Tom Neeb, Leo, um, Hunter Frost and people like that trying the trick. Um, just because it, it obviously it spurs me on to, to land it before them and obviously Instagram is going crazy at their ones. Jordan Clark, you need to get it done. Jordan Clark, you need to do this, you need to do that. And you know, um, it was really cool to see them to see them try it, you know, because it gave me that sense of get up and go to try it again rather than, you know, just sitting back and just not really trying it, you know, obviously through COVID and stuff, trying it, you know, the once wasn't really ideal. Um, but yeah, you know, when they were trying it and seeing their clips. It was, it was awesome to see and, you know, I just, but I still had that in the back of my mind that, you know, I would be the first to do it just purely off of the fact that I just believed in myself that much that um, I'd get it done for sure. Watching him try this trick for many years is so inspirational as he's never gave up trying it and it's just amazing. I'm so proud of him. Um, filming Jordan do the triple flare was, was pretty incredible. I mean, he didn't ask anyone to film when it happened. It was, I was just kind of helping him in the phone pit and filming a couple of his attempts. He was like, right, I'm going to do it to Resi. So I was like, okay, I'm going to film. Went to my, my girlfriend, I was like, here is the second phone, get a second angle. And we were just trying to hype him up and, and filming it and just making sure that we uh, captured the moment in all of its glory and what it was. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank everyone, all my friends, my family, you know, for supporting me over the six years. It's been a crazy ride and um, yeah, I'm just so happy that I've got it done. Uh, and yeah, just see what comes next.